couple of weeks ago, the government of Latvia declared new restrictions, where one of them was that photographers and videographers could not go out for photo and video shoots. Well, this basically meant that we couldn't do our job. In times like these, you gotta be creative, so what I decided to do is create a full YouTube video just by using stock footage from Artgrid, as well as music and sound effects from Artlist. And while we're at it, let's also do a review of this company to see whether it's worth getting. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you a review of Artlist and Artgrid. My personal journey with Artlist began two years ago and I liked it a lot. However, they weren't really updating their catalog as often as I would have liked, and their vocal music wasn't the best at a time. So we decided to switch to Musicbed for a year, which was uh, unfortunately five times more expensive. Yeah, not kidding. At first, we were very happy about our purchase, but after months of using it, we realized that despite the fact that it has very high quality music, there weren't that many categories to choose from and their instrumental music wasn't what we were looking for really. So last year, in September, we decided to go back to Artlist. And damn, their library has grown substantially. And now they even have a good sound effects library, which is insane. Exactly what we were looking for. We checked out some of the updated music they have and it's awesome. What spoke to me the most were the background beats they have. And since we do a lot of YouTube, we couldn't have been happier. So yeah, the huge variety of tracks they have now is insane. Dope beats. You got it. Cinematic ambient music. Yup. Hip hop. Hey yo, this is the bigger flow flowing just like I'm Tigolo. Little brother status the realest just like a Figaro. Of course. Jazz. Hell yeah, their jazz music is incredible. Well, you get my point. They have everything. When it comes to sound effects though, I'm... Well, okay, here's what we're gonna do. I will remove all music from the intro sequence I made and show it to you again, but this time only with sound effects. Yup, all those sound effects you heard were taken from Artlist. While their library isn't as huge as Epidemic Sounds, I was still able to find all the sound effects I needed without spending too much time on it. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot, this is a really, really fun fact. You know what I really appreciate from Artlist? During holidays, they usually release holiday packs where you can find uh, lots of overlays, for example, film burns, glitch effects, grain, as well as some sound effects. And the best thing is, it is free of charge. Yep, not kidding, you do not need to have the Artlist subscription for you to get these packs. So wait for the next holiday and probably you're gonna get a free pack. And you can use those packs everywhere. Client work, YouTube, um, Facebook, Instagram, it doesn't matter. Everywhere. I'm gonna tell you what excites me the most though, and that is Artgrid. Just the stock footage they have, just check it out, just check it out. Let's, uh, okay, okay, let's create another scene. Let's say I'm making a music video and I don't really have enough B-roll. So I need to find clips of urban environments, breakdancing, hip hop, 
uh, some kind of graffiti, I don't know, you, you get the point. Let's see if I can cook up something dope. Yo, this is the bigger flow, flowing just like I'm Tigolo. Little brother status, the realest, just like a Figaro. We could keep it going and flowing, but see, I'm real though. Shorty, like I'm sickly, you get me, I got the Ella flow. It's like I'm Jay Z, crazy, never play me. Wake up in the morning and yawning, just like it's Sway B. The flow be crazy, maybe, y'all be lazy. Something for the movies, invincible, like it's Patrick Swayze. I get ghost on them, they put the toast on them. Instead, he roasting, boasting, never coasting. I don't think I need to tell you much, the stock footage speaks for itself, my absolutely favorite part about this is that the stock footage looks so cinematic. It's not those typical cheesy shots you usually find on the internet, these shots straight up feel like they were taken from a movie. The filmmakers involved here are insane. And I would say I really like footage from Timelab Pro because their drone shots are amazing, Brad Day, Omri Johanna, Arne Bornstein, as well as monster filmmakers. I probably butchered some of those names, but uh, yeah. But they're amazing, seriously. Thank you guys for all the wonderful footage. You guys nailed it. They are very talented people, and I appreciate the fact that not only do they upload high quality clips, but a lot of the times they will upload wide, medium close-ups as well as telephoto shots of the same scene, which basically means that you can cut between them, making it feel like as if you were the one who planned out and filmed those shots. That is crazy. The only thing I wish Artgrid would implement is the ability to sort your stock footage, categorize them in separate folders, and download multiple clips in a zip file or something, instead of downloading them one by one, which, uh, in my case, was very annoying, but other than that, I'm a happy man. So the ultimate question, who is this for? Everyone. Doesn't matter whether you film vlogs, commercials, TV shows, short films, weddings, or events, both Artlist and Artgrid is, in my opinion, a necessary tool for every filmmaker. Music licensing has never been this easy before. Pay them $200 and you'll get a subscription for a year with unlimited downloads and you can use those music tracks everywhere. I'm serious. Everywhere. No false copyright claims, no bullshit copy-paste codes, just download the song and use it however you please. And this is exactly what I like. If you pay extra hundred bucks, you can get access to the sound effects as well, which is insane. Let's talk about Artgrid a little bit. Artgrid is a separate product which costs $479 per year if you want uh, 4K footage. If you want 8K, I think it's like 100 bucks more, but uh, I don't think we're ready for 8K yet. But I still think it's quite an affordable deal, especially after you've seen all the crazy cinematic footage they have in their collection. Sooner or later, you will encounter a situation where a client will ask you for a licensed song or stock footage. And for a price like this, I think Artlist is one of the best deals out there. Solo time! If you purchase one of their plans through my link, which is in the description below, you will get two extra months of Artlist for free, which is a killer deal. So yeah, go and check out those dope tracks as well as the cinematic footage. Anyway, hopefully 2021 has begun with positive vibes for you, stay awesome and you know the drill. Peace out.